Hey what's going on guys, Oscar Mini here and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top 25 hidden and advanced tips for the Samsung Galaxy A51. So without taking much of your time, yo guys, let's get started. I'll basically have my screen recording for you guys to see. Now the Samsung Galaxy A51 is actually a large device that requires a second hand to swipe down the notification pane, but you can actually get that solved by swiping on your home screen. To enable this, you have to click and hold anywhere on your home screen, then select the home screen settings and enable the swipe down notification panel from here. Still as a result of this device being a large one, you can actually enable the one-handed mode by swiping down the center navigation key on this phone. To enable this, you have to go to settings, advanced features, and then turn on the one-handed mode from here. Normally to access the main options of a setting on the notification pane, you have to press and hold the icon, but here's how to go about it quickly. So clicking on the text below the icon reveals the options right in the notification pane as can be seen right now. Now you might want to maximize the large screen on the A51 by running two apps and split screen on this display. To do this, click on the recent apps button, click on the apps icon you wish to launch in split screen, and then select the open and split screen view. Now select the app you want to run alongside the other app, and this will have the two apps running simultaneously on one display. This can be useful when you're watching a YouTube video and want to take notes also. So dark mode is something I never leave out on AMOLED displays of smartphones I use. I mean you're saving your eye here and also saving some battery life. To enable dark mode on the Samsung Galaxy A51, swipe down the notification pane, swipe to the right and toggle on the dark mode from the options here. Now screen mode is another option that lets you enable punchy colors on your Samsung's display. To get this up and running, go to your settings and then click on display, then click on the screen mode and then select the vivid options, there's a vivid, there's a vivid and natural here, so select vivid for punchy colors. You can also adjust the color temperature of the display from the settings. Having to find some settings on your Android phone can be sometimes difficult, but you can do that by going to settings and tapping on the search icon at the top. From within here, you can type out what you're looking for. Now using this tip, let's show a battery percentage on the Samsung Galaxy A51. Now type in this search menu, show battery percentage, click on it and enable the switch from the bottom here. Powering off the A51 isn't as simple as you think. I mean, the power button isn't an actual power button. To turn this device off, you have to click and hold the volume down key alongside the supposed power button. And this brings me to the next tip, which is assigning the double press of the power button to launch any app on this device. Now to enable this, go to settings, click on advanced features as seen here, then select the side key. And from here, you can set the app you want to launch on a double press. If you want the animations on your A51 to feel a little faster and snappier, it is quite simple. Now go to your settings, scroll down to about phone, click on the software information and then tap on the build number multiple times till you become a developer. Now go back to your settings and click on developer options, scroll down the way till you see the window animation scale as seen here, change the value of this and the transition animation scale, the animator duration scale to 0.5 and that gets your device animations to feel a little faster than it was previously. Now for AMOLED panels, I really love to turn on the always on display and this is quite simple to set up on the A51. You have to go to settings, click on lock screen and then enable always on display. It's that simple. You can easily resize the grid on your home screen by tapping and holding on the home screen. Click on the home screen grid and then pick what suits you. This is also applicable to the app grid too. Actually, I'm yet to find a friend who uses Bixby because I don't, I don't use that stuff. And seeing it on my home screen is something I don't really like. So to disable this, tap and hold anywhere on your home screen, then swipe to the left and disable Bixby Home from there. You can actually change the font size and style on the A51 if what comes off the box doesn't suit you. So to do this, go to your settings, click on display and then select font size and style. From within here, you can adjust the font style and size to whatever you want. Did you know you can open the last used app on your device by double tapping the recent apps icon at the bottom left of the navbar? You can also lock an app from being closed when you click on close all from the recent apps dock on your smartphone. Now to get this up and running, open the recent apps on your smartphone, then tap on the icon of the app you wish to remain in place here, then select lock this app. So whenever you click on close all, that app remains in place. If you've used Facebook Messenger, you're probably familiar with the floating chat head. With Smart Pop-Up, you can easily set any app as a floating pop-up on your display. So let's get this done with the YouTube app here. So you click on the recent apps here from your navigation bar, then click on the icon of the app you wish to view in Smart Pop-Up and select Open in Pop-Up View. You can now easily minimize, resize and even drag with the options available here. For some of us who run multiple social media accounts for personal and branding purposes, you can do that with the Samsung Galaxy A51 here. So let's get that set up by going to Settings, then click on the search icon from the top of the settings here 
and type in dual messenger. Now all supported apps will be displayed from here. Now do you really want to hide some apps from your app drawer? It's quite simple to do that. Tap and hold anywhere on your home screen and then select the home screen settings. Scroll down to the hide apps option here and select the app you wish to hide. This is the same process you can use to unhide these apps too. There are times you find it difficult taking photos on your smartphone because you need to adjust the shutter button to a position that's convenient for you and that can be done with the Samsung Galaxy A51. So you have to launch the camera app, tap, hold and drag the shutter button to wherever you want and it's that simple. Sometimes it is convenient to place your information, maybe email or phone number on your lock screen. In situations where you misplace your device, someone can easily get and contact you using the information you have on your lock screen. Now to get this up, go to your settings, click on lock screen and then scroll to the contact information and enter the information you wish displayed on your lock screen. Another tip here will be to get better audio on your headphones and Bluetooth devices. So to set this up, swipe down the notification pane and enable Dolby Atmos. From here you can set the equalizer and stuff for your audio on your headphones and Bluetooth devices. And lastly you can change the order of the navigation buttons or even go all gesture based. So go to your settings and tap on the search icon from here, type in navigation bar, Select the one on the display and then click on it. From here, you can switch to your preferred nav bar. And that's been it for this video. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and if you like content like this on this channel. Other than that, it's goodbye and I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Cuidate.